Hey everybody, I'm sure I'm not the only one that's ever had this happen to me, but uh, I've got a pressure washer here that uh, I unfortunately left with the gas in it and the carburetor or the uh, valve for the gas open so the gas had in the carburetor for probably nine months to a year and it won't start. And I uh, took the carburetor apart a little bit, tried to clean it up, put it back together, and no surprise, it still won't start. So I'm going to uh, show you how easy it is here to replace the carburetor on it. Uh, it'll only take me probably 10, 15 minutes at most, and we'll uh, put it back together and see if it'll get going. So this is the uh, pressure washer I'm gonna be working on. And a couple things I wanted to point out to you here uh, real quick. One of the things that I did not do when I put it away after I used it last time is I did not shut the gas off. Now, had I realized it was going to sit for as long as it did before I used it again, I would have shut the gas off, which is just, oh, that's the choke. Pull this over to where the gas is off and I would have let it run until it ran out of gas. That would have effectively um, removed all the fuel from the carburetor and hopefully would have kept it from varnishing and plugging up the, uh, uh, the little jets that are in it that actually let the fuel flow through to the carburetor so that the engine will start. Um, I'm gonna go through here and, and show you real quick uh, me taking it apart and I've got a brand new carburetor. I'll show you over here. Um, got a brand new carburetor right here that we're gonna put back in to replace it. And with any luck, we'll be back up and running in no time. So it didn't even take me 10 minutes, maybe five, to get that swapped out. A um, couple things to make sure that you do while you're, while you're doing this, if you decide to tackle this project. Make sure you keep track of your parts. Uh, you probably saw me fumble around a, a little bit. I dropped a nut and uh, made sure that I didn't lose it so that I could put the carburetor back on because the kit that uh, I bought doesn't come with the nuts or bolts or anything that you need to put it back together. So you don't want to lose any of those. Um, the other thing to be sure that you check is the, uh, the, any carburetor kit that you buy will probably come with uh, the gaskets that you need. Uh, make sure you put those back on, take the old ones off, put the new ones back on, um, and then check your fuel line. Uh, make sure that it's not cracked or broken. Uh, mine was still in pretty good shape, so I just reused it. Uh, some of the carburetor kits come with new fuel lines. Uh, unfortunately, even if mine had uh, been bad, the one that the kit came with was too short and I would have had to have gotten a new one from an auto parts store or something to, uh, to replace it. So uh, luckily mine was still in good shape. Um, while I was troubleshooting this, I already put uh, drained the fuel tank um, and put new gas in it. Uh, hopefully it's going to start. We're gonna find out here in just a second.
grand total of uh, $15, I was able to, in about maybe all told, uh, an hour of my time, troubleshooting the first time, trying to get it cleaned out, and then uh, swapping the carburetor out after I got the new one. It's running. So anyway, hopefully this helps you. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos from me. Good luck and go Gators.